So glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to Boardwalk Hall at the famed Atlantic City Boardwalk in southern New Jersey for tonight's main event. Ten rounds among heavyweights, and now the time has come. All the talk, now comes the walk. Galata's coming down to the ring now, and what a nice reception as he is completely focused in on his goal tonight. <laughs> Scheduled to go the full 10 if we get that far. Round one underway. A little head hunting right back to it. Galata is able to land a nice, clean left hand. Nice work blocking that, and then an uppercut of his own. Good shot to the head with that right hand. Galata's left, landing well. Oh, that's a huge power shot to the head by Lennox Lewis. Lewis's pre-fight talk included a lot of discussion about the need to utilize the jab. Why so? Well, first of all, he's a good fundamental fighter, and he's not a real physical fighter. So he understands where he has to be good. He knows he doesn't have, you know, great, great physical skills where he could just knock a house over. He knows he has to be good in this area, using that lead hand to jab. Good work on the combination by Lewis. Stop, stop, stop. One gives one. The right hand scores well. You know, the rap on Lennox's opponent here is that he doesn't have much endurance. Well, that means that he's got to expect his opponent probably to come out quick, to burn it up fast, and not get caught early. Lennox Lewis has got a way of just getting away from that punch. Red hot action to open up this fight. Both men throwing, both men landing. It's been a long time since I've seen something like this. I think it was in the film library. Watchman Hammer and Hank, the great Henry Armstrong, never took a step backwards, kept going forward. Off to the side, a little swing and a miss going upstairs. A little head knocking with that right hand. A freight train uppercut by Lennox Lewis. That's a forceful two punch combo by Galata. Round comes to an end here. Glad you've joined us ringside. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas on another night at the fights. We're with you all year long, every step of the way, as is our crew. And the guys just don't get enough credit sitting back there in the production truck, but they make all this happen, Teddy. Yeah, they do, of course. Rick, Robbie, Mike, all you guys, Brian, Scott, Russ. We appreciate you doing all the difficult work while we get a chance to sit out here and uh, enjoy the fun part. And by the way, you guys, after we just said that, you guys are picking up the tab tonight. And Watch now he's line. been spoken to about the low blows. A well-placed, gutsy uppercut after being tagged. Two good jabs by Galata. He had his eyes set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. Reich after catching one by Galata. And now committing to that midsection as the target with the combination. And the ref's not going to tolerate the headbutt there. He hands out the warning. Galata's being so very effective, punching in combinations. And that's what you want. He's got pretty good hand speed. Might as well use that hand speed. No better way to use it than putting them together. Final 60 seconds after two minutes of pure fury. Galata's coming through now beautifully. That's the combination punching he wants to put forth. A well-placed left hand up top. Right to the head with that right. The old one-two scores for him. Galata, and bang, and away he goes. This round, he's gonna try to survive it. One, two. 
Delata's now getting back up off the canvas. Lewis is impressing the judges and himself with that right hand. Nice work, kid. Good job in that round. Don't waste energy. But I want you to keep those hands moving. Galata's corner tried to steady him and give him some sound advice with the 60 seconds they had to work with him. But keep in mind, he was knocked down in that last round. Well, the most important thing is his experience. Has this happened to him before? Can he justify it in his mind that he's overcoming before? Also, his corner, did they revive him? Did they do their job during that minute rest? The combo lands upstairs. A clean, big hook to the head by Galata. Good right hand. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. That right hand is becoming a crutch. He can just lean on it now. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Lewis is jacked up by an uppercut. What a demolishing hook by Galata. Commits to the overhand right, and it serves him well. Took a shot, now he gives a left. A stabbing right hand by Lewis. Big, big shot he just scored with. Remember earlier, he was on the canvas. Now he's looking down on his opponent. And we thought it was a bad thing earlier for him. It turned out to be a bad thing for his opponent because he got careless here. Lennox Lewis showing that championship heart rising up after being knocked down. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Galata. Galata's doing what every trainer wants to see their fighter do. Land punches and bunches. The combination lands. Stay on the outside. How about that left hand? Two snapping jabs by Lennox Lewis. And this round comes to an end. Assert yourself. Assert your punch. We open up round number four here. Let's look at Teddy's scorecard where he's up two rounds to one. I like his work rate, Teddy. You know, he's not landing all the time clean, but it reminds me a little bit of some of the old fans used to say to me, Teddy, Marciano, we love Marciano. You know, the lock. He used to hit guys on his arms. He wasn't hitting them clean, but he was breaking their blood vessels. Excuse me for being so graphic, but he was breaking their blood vessels, and they, they couldn't keep their arms up by the time they got to the eighth, ninth, tenth round. That's kind of the way this guy fights. Do you see any way in which he can take his opponent's aggression and turn it against him? Yeah, the perfect way. I mean, boxing 101, counterpunching. You got a guy coming at you, no better way than to change his mind. Make him miss, make him pay. Very nice work with the double jab up top. <laughs> 90 seconds to go in round number four. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Lewis. You can see he's trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Lewis's work in training camp is now paying off. Do you see the accuracy and the effectiveness with that combination? Stuff. He fires one right back after taking one. Gotta love the work by Galata. Scores with the combo to the head. Nice work, the left hand to the head. Fourth round now with his last 10 seconds. Oh, he just misses with that headshot. 
Lewis is able to land at a good connect percentage. Look at the punch stat. Gets the ropes. As soon as you feel ropes, move out. This way to pick his jabs. When he throws a jab, parry it away, and you'll catch it. Okay? You got that? It's gonna happen. You gotta catch it. live action now in what has been a closely contested fight. One of those fights that somebody is still waiting to break through and be a difference maker in. Good combination to the body. Lewis is smashed by a hook. Nice block by Galato. Great job, he gave one right back in return. Nice work by Galata. Nice defense, good block by Galata. Oh, he took some damage, but he gave some back with the right hand. I gotta stop and make this statement at this point in the fight. This may be, combined, one of the most amazing performances I have ever seen. How are they able to keep up this pace? Something way, way down inside, and it's beautiful to watch. Oh, and the right hand comes into play by Galata. And now he's targeting upstairs. Galata's showing that walking stick right now, utilizing the jab. Scores up. Oh, that's got to hurt. Could it be that Lennox Lewis cannot continue on here? Knocked down a few times tonight. One, two, three, four, five. Hard to prepare for a situation like this, but many do. He's been down, now he's got to survive. So that's where you're wrong. It's not hard to prepare, it's a must to prepare. If you're a trainer, that's what you do in the gym. You teach a guy, if you're in this situation, this is what you do. You grab on, you move your head, you survive. A sharp and precise headshot by Galata. And round five comes to an end. Galata's getting an earful here. He's being reminded that you put yourself in position to win, but you have to stay on course in order to win. If this fight is center in the ring, okay? Just best defense is to throw punches. You need to throw more punches. That'll keep them away. Start of this round, start to the second half of this fight. First half of this fight, he completely dominated the action, Teddy. Yeah, but you know what? It's kind of like they said in that movie, The Gambler. You know, they don't pay off at halftime. <laughs> remember, remember the guy wanted to Absolutely. collect his bets? Well, same thing. He's got another half of the fight. Can he be consistent? Can he keep his concentration? Can he keep doing what he's been doing? Huge right hand from Lennox. I like the way he went up top that time with the hook. Galata's punch didn't come close. Wow, just like the old timers, a four punch combination. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Lewis is a seasoned pro, and old pros tend to fall into the same patterns. Nothing has changed with him stylistically since he's been knocked down in this fight. Well, that falls right into that pattern or that cliche where old dogs can't be taught new tricks. Well, right now, he's going to have to come up with a trick or two 
maybe to survive this moment. Lewis's inability to get away from his opponent's right hand is costing him. He continues to pull straight back, and he's still in the path of the punch. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Galata. And you see what he can do when he sends that right to the head. Galata's landing a combination here. That's what he does when he's at his very best. Well played, straight right hand. And round six comes to an end. Lewis's cut man is going to earn his pay for sure. That is a bad gash. And I'm wondering what he's using in there. You know, you can only use certain things, Havertine, adrenaline, and thrombus. I'm wondering if he's using legal things right now because he is damaged badly there he big shot oh and he goes down again the question is can he rise up and continue on two three four five six seven galata's rising back up that takes some guts Well off the mark by Galata. Galata's showing you what it takes to be the best in this business. Good, crisp combos. Let's see some more head movement. Lewis is putting his punches together now. That's a nice combination. Galata's right hand scores well that time. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. He has found his groove with his right hand. Oh, what a hook upstairs. Keep doing what you're doing. Nice block by Lewis. Lewis is putting forth that hard work he did in training camp there, landing a crisp combination. What a big shot. Some way, somehow, he's got to try to get up. Galata's down, and he looks to be out. Now we're going to see what's inside this man. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So now the question becomes, after that knockdown, and he has gotten up, how does he survive? So this is where instincts kick in. You got to start moving that head automatically right now. You don't want to stay in the middle. Lewis's cut is not looking good at all. I'm getting the sense that this fight could be stopped at any moment. So the key is where the cut is. When the referee brings the doctor up to look at it, he's going to look at whether or not getting worse will imperil his health down the road. I think this fight is going in one distinct direction now. I'm just glancing at your scorecard here, Teddy, at the start of round number eight. And it's clear to see what was a close fight could quickly turn into a one-sided fight. Yeah, because he's worrying me now. You know, he's starting to... Wow! From absolutely out of nowhere to now on top of the world, he just floored him with that punch. Short one. Maybe six inches. Get to your feet. Seven. Eight, nine, ten. It's over. The fight is over. Lewis has gunned down yet another opponent. A knockout victory. Ladies and gentlemen, by knockout, you're That's how you end a fight right there. Yes, he was controlling throughout, 
but he made a good, clean finish with the knockout. Yeah, as a trainer, you want to know, can a guy punch, can a guy defend, you know, can a guy control distance? But you want to know, can a guy finish? He got the answer. Yes, he can finish. For Teddy Atlas, I'm Joe Tessitore. Always enjoy you tuning in. We'll see you next time at the fights.